everyone if you're new to my channel hi my name is Julia Service and I am a rising junior at the University of Tennessee Knoxville and by the title of this video this is my experience and my vlog of being a debutante in a debutante ball a lot of you guys may be wondering what even is a debutante ball so a debutante ball is honestly a very very old term in years past very very long time ago it basically meant that a young woman was stepping into society and she was now able to be married now obviously the meaning of that is very outdated nowadays um but now really what the purpose of a debutante ball is for a young woman to step out into society still but also make those connections with so many different people adults people your own age and just celebrate with your family your closest friends while also being able to give back to your local community so why was i in the chattanooga ball what, what is what is the purpose of me being in the Chattanooga ball? Basically, my mom was actually a belle in 1991, and my grandfather was king of the Chattanooga ball in 2013. I have a extensive history of people being in it. It's kind of just a family tradition. Also, because of COVID, I was actually supposed to be presented last year, but obviously it had to be canceled, so I was presented this year with the grade below me. And honestly, I have to say it was so much fun being able to interact with not only the people my age, but also the people younger than me. It was just so good to see them. So I hope that answered some of y'all's just basic questions about what a debutante ball is. And yeah, we'll just get right on to it. <laughs> Hey guys, so I'm currently at Walmart with my mom and we are doing some philanthropy shopping for the Chattanooga Ball. So we're getting some school supplies and some tool trees for the children's hospital and for schools around town. Hey guys, so I'm back from Walmart and I want to explain to you guys a little bit more about why I'm getting these supplies. So for the Chattanooga Ball, we have two philanthropy events. We have a philanthropy event with our moms and we have a philanthropy event with our dads. And so the philanthropy event with my dad, we are going to the Erlinger Children's Hospital and that is our local hospital in Chattanooga and we are going to make kits for them and we could either do crafts or we could do tool trees. So we chose to do toiletries so we went and got that today at the dollar tree and then my mom and i we have a philanthropy event and our philanthropy event is school supplies so we went to walmart and got some school supplies for that so super quick i'm just going to show you guys kind of what we got a little brief overview i'm not going to go into like too much detail but um we definitely did get a decent amount of stuff and i'm really really excited because I just absolutely love helping the community and doing anything we can. There are, I think, around 35 bells. So, I mean, just imagine the amount of school supplies and toiletries and just everything that these kids are going to be getting. Um, it's just incredible. We all um, get to get together and give back and hang out with our parents while doing it. I'm going to start with the... Um, toiletries that we got at Dollar Tree. We are going to make five kits and we're going to make three kits for smaller children and then two kits geared towards teenagers. For the little kids, we got them this cute little um, washcloths that you put in water and they like expand and grow. And I know when I was a kid, I like absolutely loved those. And then we got them some chapstick. This flavor is, what is this? tropical punch um but we got different flavors i don't know where the toothbrushes are but we got them these cute little toothbrushes with toothpaste in them and they're 
absolutely so cute but i don't really know where they're at right now i think they're downstairs for the teenagers we got them some carmex i know i love me some good carmex so i was like we need to get them that and then we got them some deodorant right here this is just the ultra max fresh scent we just wanted to go with something basic that anybody would like and then we also got them some suave coco shea nourishing lotion and we also got them toothbrushes but they're not in this bag i think they're downstairs with the little kids toothbrushes so yeah but um that's what we got for our tool trees and like i said that is going to be with my dad and then for my mom we got some washable markers i mean who can go wrong with some fun markers i know that i love markers i literally use them all the time especially for my notes and stuff i am always using markers and i know that kids you know they use them so much in school and so they get dried out really quickly so we got a ton of those and then we also got some colored pencils because those also can break easily and they're used a lot so we got a lot of those as well and we got some elmer's glue sticks um, also, once again, these can be used a lot and they dry out really quickly. We also got crayons. Um, this is the 24 pack, which is a lot. And we also got them some pins to use because once again, pins are a necessity in school and a lot of teachers prefer black or blue ink. So we got them the extra smooth um, black we also got quite a few packs of these pink erasers i know for me like when i use my mechanical pencils especially uh, those erasers are so tiny and they can wear out so so easily so it's always good to have a big eraser around so you're not wearing out your erasers on your pencils and then we also got a lot of wide ruled notebook paper and we also got them some basic composition books if i can get it out of the bag yeah so we got quite a few of these as well hey guys happy monday i'm with alex right now and we are going to go get his tux fitted for him and then we're gonna go to lunch and then we're gonna get my final fitting for my dress <music> finished Alex's tux fitting. Yeah, um, they got the wrong shirt size for me. So. Everything else fit really yeah. great, um, but they need to correct his shirt size and then he'll pick it up either on Thursday, Friday, and then Saturday is the latest. I really hope it's not Saturday because it's the day of the ball. So I would prefer Thursday or Friday, but We'll see, but now um, we're about to go get some lunch or brunch, I guess. Yeah. And, it's like 12, um, so nice yeah. lunch time. Yeah, and then um, at two o'clock I have my appointment, so we'll be back at Monica's to try on my dress. Hess Brown, farmhouse half. Alex is done. Delicious. <laughs> to brunch and I really didn't film a lot just because um kind of forgot and I was just enjoying my Chowing time down. with Alex. Chowing down. Chowing down. Mm -hmm. And yeah so we got the same thing we got the farmhouse uh skillet ash something like that. I don't know it's really really good um 10 out of 10 recommend. It comes with fresh fruit and whole grain bread with butter and jelly. Yeah, I don't like I gave it to Alex, as usual. <laughs> we went shopping a little bit, shopping, aka looking around for me, 
and <laughs> um, we have really cute boutiques in Chattanooga, like really close by to Monica. So we were just like doing that. And so we show up like 10 to 15 minutes early for my appointment. I'm sitting here and we're just talking and I realize I forgot my shoes, like a dingbat. So yeah. I called my mom and we met my mom um, halfway and um, luckily like it was not a problem at all. It literally took, I'm not even kidding, like 10 or 15 mm -hmm. minutes to like do the entire like That's final good. fitting. But it was a little stressful, but I got on my dress. It is absolutely perfect. The only thing they need to do now is just kind of fix the straps a little bit. They're still a little bit too loose. Um, so they're gonna fix that. I'm gonna pick up my dress Thursday at 10 a.m. in the morning, and I'm gonna have it for the Chattanooga Ball on Saturday. I might go with you to that then. When are you gonna pick up your tux? Probably Thursday. Thursday morning? Yeah. Maybe you'll see yeah. us again going together to pick mm -hmm. up our stuff, mm -hmm. but that has been taken care of. That was definitely a huge thing that needed to be done, and got it done today guys so now it's just time for full length pee week and then the ball is gonna be here before we know it hello everyone so I have a lot to update you guys on because I did not film anything today so today is Thursday and it is pretty much the first day of like actually having to do events for the Chattanooga ball so this morning I went and picked up my dress. This is just the back of it, as you guys can tell. Yeah, I am so happy I got my dress. And then I actually picked up Alex's tux. And then I went and worked out. Then I went to his house, delivered his tux. We practiced doing the waltz because that's part of the Chattanooga ball. At four o'clock, my dad had an appointment at Monica's where I got my dress to get his tux. And then after that, I dropped him off at the YMCA. He went and worked out while I had my very first practice. I am going to be a line leader. There are six of us, including me. And so basically we're just in charge of our group of girls when we are going and getting presented and doing our walks. We just went on ahead early and we kind of learned the patterns that we're gonna be doing. And then right after that, I went and picked up my dad and we headed over to Erlanger Children's Hospital and we got to eat an amazing dinner, got to hear an amazing story about a sweet little girl, her name was Demi, and just how Erlanger Hospital really impacted her and her family. We then got to take a tour of the new facility that they have there, it is so, so incredible. And then after that, my dad and I, we assembled some kits and we did toiletries and it was seriously such an amazing event. I have had so much fun. Hello everyone, it is Friday. I just got done with my very first rehearsal with everyone there. We just worked on getting our lines perfected and everything is really coming together. And so now I'm getting ready to head home. I'm gonna relax, eat a little lunch, and then my mom and I are heading to the mother-daughter tea at the Chattanooga Golf and Country Club. And then after that, I have another practice with my escort, which is obviously Alex and all the other escorts. And we're going to pretty much put everything together and teach them everything that they need to know. Luckily, they don't need to know as much as we do. They really just need to like follow us. We're the ones that have to like know what we're doing. But yeah, I'm super excited. Everything's like really coming into place and it's kind of crazy that tomorrow is like the actual thing. I'm so, so, so excited. Hello vlog. This is my very first video of today. Getting ready was just kind of hectic. Um, right, right now, Alex and I are on our way to the Chattanooga Ball and we are so, so excited.
Thank you guys so much for watching this video. As you guys can tell, there's a lot more that goes into a debutante ball than what people really know about um but it was so much fun it was so worth it like i said in the beginning of this video literally just being able to hang out with people my age and you're younger than me that i have not seen since i literally graduated high school in 2019 like was so so much fun it was so refreshing just like getting that social interaction after we had had such a crazy crazy year last year um, so I had the best time ever. I loved every second of it. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys found this video interesting. It's definitely a little different of a video I would do. Definitely shows my southern roots a little bit more. Just because debutante balls are definitely more of a southern custom in my opinion. We all had so much fun including my family. So thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys in another video very soon. Bye.